Hey everyone, today we are in beautiful Bali, Indonesia to learn more about Potato Head, a five-star resort using precious plastic machines to recycle their plastic and educate their guests on how plastic can be precious. Good afternoon, welcome to the South Potato Head. Hello. Nice to see you. Thank this you very much. Is, let, let me see you. Just call us if you need anything. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Let's see. All right, here we are finally after stalking Potato Head for many, many years and appreciating their work from far. Finally, I'm here learning more firsthand about the recycling work using precious plastic. But before we start, something really, really important. All right, so here we are much, much better now. So what is exactly Potato Head? Potato Head is a five-star resort here in Bali, Indonesia. And of, of course, as you can imagine, comes with a lot of infinite pools, award-winning restaurants, amazing cocktails, and everything that you can expect from a luxury hotel. And being in Bali, this also comes with morning yoga classes, meditation workshops, sound healing experiences, and everything that is sort of nurturing for the body and the soul. But of course, we are not here for this. Well, not only for this. All right, so for the past decade, Potato Head has really been trying to shift their attention towards circular design and sustainability. Of course, starting with trying to reduce as much as possible the amount of waste that goes to landfill. Behind me, you can see an example of these efforts where each guest checking in Potato Head, they receive a reusable uh, water bottle so they don't have to create more waste having to get plastic bottle. All right, so here it is the famous zero waste kit. As you can see, all the stuff here is uh, already been used. Super nice. This is refilled, so no need for single use. Wow, that's the that's the future that I want to see. You know, where even luxury doesn't have to mean single use. Look at this, you can really see it's actually been quite used. But super nice, I think. And here we have, what do we have here? Here are some calories. Awesome. Action. Okay. Hi. Action. So I'm Amanda. Uh, I lead the sustainability department here at Potato Head. We started to do the separation at source because that's key. So we separate non-organic and organic waste. And then also the organic waste we separate again into a different category. Uh, organic for composting and organic uh, for the pig feed. And then also the non-organic, we separate it too where your machine, the precious plastic, came in. Um, it's to recycle our own plastic here at the property. So Potato Head really has mainly two areas where the precious plastic machines are being used. One is what they call the lab. This is basically like a full line production of precious plastic machines that do produce uh, sheets on a daily basis and also serve as a sort of a showcase museum-like area to sort of educate their guests. Then they also have a production area and that's really where they do their bulk of production both for in-house and also for outside collaborations. All right let's go and see them shall we? All right so here we are in what they call the womb which is basically this super beautiful uh, traditional Indonesian tunnel and any guest that stays at Potato Head has to walk through here to go to their room and right here Surely enough, you're gonna find your precious plastic machine looking gorgeous. This machine has been built locally, so really it's sort of fueling the local economy and also recycling local plastic waste. All right, so today, by very much luck, we have Putu here. He's the head of uh, We Do, and they make hundreds of machines for all across Indonesia, right? Yes, Indonesia, and yeah, we export it also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a rough idea of how many machines you made in your life? Uh, less than 200, but more than 100. Okay. Mm -hmm. Precious plastic. Precious plastic. My God, you are you are a machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my you team. are the recycling machine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the machines here in the lab they have mainly two goals. One is to, of course, recycle plastic because the sheet press here is making about five sheets a day, and there's a team working on this from nine to six, six on a daily basis. And additionally, they also serve as a sort of a showcase educational tool to educate all the guests of Potato Head, to really show them what's possible and that plastic is precious. So this is the assembly line that we have. Uh, 
the version 4 of precious plastic made by we do here locally in bali we have the shredder the washer the dryer and then there the shredded plastic ready to be put inside the hot press machine and then once it's inside the hot press machine it really depends on um, the thickness of the plastic this one for example is one centimeter thick and it needs around 45 minutes uh, to be done and it contains 11 kilogram of plastic so there's a lot of plastic and then after the hot press we put it inside the cold press and let it cool so it's even not bending all right but let's go and see what gets made with the sheets and all the things made here in the lab all right so here we are behind me you can see the production area right here you can see some of the beautiful precious plastic machines and so the sheets once they are made in the lab they are either fed to the cnc machine over there to make some gadgets or they are brought here where they get further processed into products furniture interiors or gadgets and here in the production area there's a big team of recycler working on a daily basis there's about 10 people working here and they do anything from beads to chairs to boards to coasters keychain gadgets to hand over affairs the range is really wide and the people here are incredibly incredibly skilled my name is Iwan I work in sustainability division focused on the operation I mean I'm handling production some part of education or workshop if like very simple thing this bracelet we give them to our guests during turn out as a guest experience every day we have to make at least 100 to 150 and we also making a tumbler cap every day we also have to make around 100 to 150 other than that we also have a target to make a room chair and then for that actually our target is like minimum two every week an interesting fact that they were sharing with me is the fact that they often cannot meet the demand for plastic recycled sheets. And that's when they connect once again with the precious plastic community to source locally made 100% recycled plastic sheets. And what you've seen today is not just a special behind the scene tour that they gave me. On a daily basis they do a waste tour when anyone in Potato Head can join to learn more about plastic recycling and learn more about how plastic is a precious and highly valuable material. All right, but so far we've seen all of these products being made and recycled, but it's kind of nice also to see them in context, in, in real life. Starting, of course, with these beautiful reusable bottles that are given to all the guests here at Potato Head. That's the first thing that they get as soon as they check in. Then they sprinkled uh, all this beautiful signage across uh, the resort, entirely made from uh, recycled plastic. These are simple sheets, CNC into letters and then hang on the wall. Beautiful, beautiful, unified typography and design that really does its job while being recycled. And as you enter the room, you can really see how precious plastic products are a very key dominant feature of all the interior design in the rooms. All right, some more biscuits. And again, these beautiful leads. Also very heavy, it really feels like proper. The little coaster for the glass, obviously made out of recycled plastic. This is a fully recycled chair, designed by Max Lamb, produced here in Potato Head. It's so beautiful and entirely made from waste. This is great. And really can't help to think of all the people that sat on this very chair and thought to themselves, wow, this plastic recycled chair is really not that bad. Also, as you can see, a lot of the interiors in the restaurants and public areas are made with recycled sheets. And my God, they look incredible. And at any given time, guests are surprised with tiny little gadgets made from recycled plastic. Just like this uh, cloth wrapper thing uh, that I wouldn't know how else to call. And these are tiny little moments to surprise and inspire people. And I almost forgot they have this really cool radio recording studio entirely made from recycled plastic sheets. All right, so here I am in one of the fancy restaurants here in Potato Head. Usually not my cup of tea, but I wanted to check it out. And surprise, surprise, there is a lot of plastic recycling in here. Also in a super fancy, highly luxurious restaurant, you find recycled plastic. That's what we've been preaching for a very long time. And finally, we have people uh, making it happen in real life. Hey everyone, for those of you new to the channel, we are Precious Plastic and we design and develop open source recycling machine for the entire planet to be using. 
And just like Potato Head, we have thousands of organizations all around the world using precious plastic to recycle plastic and tackle the big plastic waste problem. So if recycling is your jam, make sure to like and subscribe so you can get notified with new videos coming out on a weekly basis. Now with this video, you can see how difficult it can be to run an open hardware recycling project. Someone like Potato Head was probably very excited to start recycling. They went on Google, they Googled plastic recycling. Precious plastic was the first one to come up. They dug the website, they learned a ton, they watched 60 plus video tutorials, they downloaded our download kit with tons of technical drawings and everything you need to start recycling. Then they went on the map, they found a local machine builder that they can employ to build the machines, and they probably invested their 20, 30K to build their recycling uh, center. And this is amazing, that's what we want, more decentralized, scalable ways to tackle the plastic waste problem. But this makes it for a very difficult business model for Precious Plastic, and that's very much why we would encourage anyone watching this video to go on support.preciousplastic.com and find the best way for you to support Precious Plastic, so that we can together enable the next wave of micro recyclers to start recycling plastic all around the world. All right, enough talking, back to the video. A little behind the scene here, Dan Mitchell, which we interviewed for space available video that you can find in the description below, used to be the creative director of Potato Head for many years. And he was sharing with me how he was greatly inspired by our Dutch design exhibition in 2017 and 2018, and where we were sort of telling people, hey, plastic is a valuable material and it's very precious and you should do something with that, right? It was basically like a call to action to designers. And he was sharing how he was very greatly inspired by those messages. And it's nice and beautiful to see that, you know, those exhibitions, those, all that creative thinking and design work that we put into those exhibitions is now reflected here in Bali, thousands of miles away where those concepts and ideas are, have been materialized and crystallized in Potato Head, inspiring thousands of people on a daily basis on how plastic can be and it is a precious, valuable material. Before leaving, I wanted to understand a bit better what are the future plans for precious plastic at Potato Head. Because of course, all the work that has been done here is great and fantastic. However, the plastic waste problem is far from being solved. So I'm very curious to understand a bit better what the future plans are. Okay. Um, my name is Ade, Ade Her Charisma. I'm heading the uh, architecture and development uh, team here at uh, Desa Potato Head. Yeah, so what, what we're thinking is to elevate it a bit more. You know, we're looking to how to make how to contribute more really from what we've done. You know, us as a hospitality company, we have a lot of audience from the guests, from other businesses. So I think by doing that, hopefully we can set a good example. We can make a bigger impact to the other business. Again, for us is about getting that message across. So for us, the message is the product. So we are uh, doing the refinement of the product, you know, hopefully uh, uh, when the time is ready, we're going to launch this product so that it's, it's, a, it's a retail ready. All right, so my days at Potato Head are coming to an end. Being here, I really enjoy to see how a plastic that would be otherwise destined for landfill or the ocean to really just cause problems to people, animals and the environment, how here is reinterpreted in a luxurious way, really bringing about the world that I want to see, a world where plastic is precious and highly valuable. All right, see you next time. Ciao.